Paul and Muhammad both talked about historical figures, but one of them was exceptionally careful, while the other was extraordinarily sloppy. Care to guess which is which? In Surah 18, Allah tells us that Dhul-Karnain, usually identified as Alexander the Great, traveled so far west, he found the place where the sun sets. Not only can I guarantee that Alexander the Great never found the place where the sun sets, we know that this was a popular story during Muhammad's lifetime. The story was even circulating in a Syriac work titled The Glorious Deeds of Alexander towards the end of Muhammad's life. Earlier in Surah 18, we read about the Companions of the Cave, a group of people who supposedly went to sleep in a cave and woke up 300 years later. This myth goes back to Bishop Stephen of Ephesus around the middle of the 5th century. It seems that Muhammad simply took the stories that were popular during his lifetime, gave them an Islamic twist, and included them in the Quran. What's interesting is that even the pagans of Mecca were better at recognizing fiction than Muhammad was. In Surah 6, verse 25, Allah says to Muhammad, When they come to you to argue with you, the unbelievers say, These are nothing but fables of the men of old. Here we have pagans saying, Muhammad, you don't really believe these stories, do you? So we know that Muhammad was extremely sloppy and gullible when it came to stories about historical figures, which means that there's no way we can accept him as a reliable source of information about Jesus. Paul, by contrast, was far more careful in transmitting stories. As a Pharisee, Paul was obsessed with preserving and passing on authoritative tradition. Paul describes his life as a Pharisee by saying, I was advancing in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries among my countrymen, being more extremely zealous for my ancestral traditions. Paul's obsession with tradition doesn't go away when he becomes a Christian. He just changes the source of authority. As a Pharisee, he would have passed on traditions he obtained from respected rabbis. As a Christian, he passed on traditions he obtained from Jesus' apostles. When we read what Paul says about Jesus, we're reading the words of a man who was trained all of his life to carefully and zealously preserve and pass on authoritative tradition from respected sources. He's the polar opposite of Muhammad, one of whose contemporaries said of him in Ibn Asak, page 243, Muhammad is all ears. If anyone tells him anything, he believes it. A guy who has a reputation for believing anything anyone tells him is not the sort of guy you want telling you what to believe about the most important man in history. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. In case you stumbled upon this video while browsing or searching, I wanted to let you know that it's part of a series comparing Paul and Muhammad. So if you'd like to see the full series, be sure to click on the playlist. If you're already in the playlist, you're about to see how history supports Paul's view of Jesus, not Muhammad's view of Jesus.